Okay, this is a monorepo, an X monorepo. It created by Google. It enable you to make a several project in one repo, like Angular, uh, React, and Foo. I'm going to make a base with Angular in here. So the name will be Angular Tailwind. And today we're going to choose uh, Angular app in here. And after that, I'm going to use SAS and others. And after this, um, okay, wait, uh, for the first time, I will change this one, others, but I will rewind this. The name should be, maybe, I change it to YouTube Monorepo because it's not, uh, it's not the only, uh, the, the app is not only Angular, but uh, also the others. So I'm going to install it and create it again. And we're going to wait here just a minute. Yeah, we're going to wait until it's done. Mm -hmm. Still waiting. Yeah, it, it takes some time to uh, regenerate this one. And okay, setting up next cloud. And we're going to see. Yeah, it's created. Okay, all, all is okay. And then we're going to. Okay, here yeah, we're going to call it, uh, go to. Yeah, go to the monorepo and I'm going to open it with uh, VS Code. Eh, wait a minute, let's see. I'm going to install the Fuel Tree first. Okay, so this is how you install it. I'm going to copy this one and copy in here and we're going to give it name up to three for this one. Okay, uh, this is never we need to install the let me see here. Okay, we need to install the uh, annex view tree first. Okay, after this, you can see it's still installing. And you can see the other option in here. Okay. Okay, you start installing and we're going to see. Okay, that's fine. It's, it's okay. And then we're going to see if we're going to Install this one. Everything is okay. Still installing. As you can see, yeah. Uh, by the way, we have because we have uh, what we call it. Uh, the base is Angular, and the other one is Vue. We have to run this separately because you cannot combine them into one app, but you can uh, run them spreadly but it's in one app yeah that's that's the function of monorepo in there so you can create uh what we call it a library like angular and few tree and also others and they share the same library few tree share the few tree library angular share the angular library and uh what they call it the react is sharing the react uh library so you have a if it has the same like example for the out, you can say that it will it was uh, you make the one library for out and it will share in other uh, application that has same like React maybe React have a React out and others some kind of that. okay okay it seems that it's fine okay now we're going to create a React in here. So the React is fail. Uh, let's see what happened. Let's say that. Okay. Uh, maybe I'm just need to install it same as Vue tree. Let's try this one. Okay, we're going to just copy this one. Uh, and we'll run React, and we're going to npm install. Uh, okay. I'm trying to win one, still fail, but 
it, let's try to install the Tailwind one for the setup. Save dev in here. Let's see whether it is. Oh, what got it? Uh, okay. Say that is not found. Huh? So maybe we can use the one like few three. Just say that npm in here for installing uh, the react part and we're going to have a uh, set development in here Let's see okay it's running and we're going to wait for a second in here okay same stuff is fine right we just uh, install the package first and we're going to run the package for creating a project in here so I'm going to create a project at React. This is to spread that React Angular and uh, Foo. I'm going to use uh, maybe the maybe the dot sas in here. Okay, and we're going to use Pipe. Uh, we don't use Webpack anymore. It's, uh, it's uh, just more complicated than Pipe. And Wait up for a minute. If you want to install another like uh Sobelt, Sobelt and other like maybe you have something like Max and also like uh Nux, uh, the library from Flu can be shared with Nux and the library from the, the what do you call it from the React can be shared in uh Next.js or Remix in there. Okay, now I'm going to open the Visual Studio in here. Wait a minute, and we have this one, right? The, uh, look at the structure. I have foo, we have uh, React in here, and the search is the Angular one. Look at this. You can see that there is an Angular component in here, and the uh, React one is having a React component in there. Okay. Now uh, we're going to test this out and we're going to change a few of the, what we call it. If you can see this, this has a structure different than you generate the view because uh, it, what do you call it, um, already compact with the NX. Just, but it's just um, the same. If you used uh, before, you can understand that. And we're going to just run view three for this one. Okay, and I'm going to open new and I'm going to serve the React 1 in here. I'm going to set the React 1. Okay, and the other, the, the what do you call it, the default one, you just need to run it the same as the name of your component. Just You can see the name in the package, JSON. Just run this one and I serve. And we're going to YouTube Monorepo for the Tower in NX. And we're going to see this one. You just need to wait. And we're going to check this one. Okay, it's running in the 3000 for few. I'm going to open this in 2000. Okay. Okay, wait. Yeah, you can see this is the few one. And I'm going to see that the other one is in the 420. This is a port for Angular, but it takes by the React. That's fine. And we're going to see the React one, okay? And we're going to see the other one in here. Going to see, okay. So I didn't use, so I'm going to change this one. Just wait. Let the NX, uh, what they call it. You can, you can set the port uh, in the package JSON. There is, uh, what we call it, uh, all the user, uh, all the application, and you can set specific port. But if you are lazy like me you just can uh, make the nx decide which port that will that he will use okay uh as you can see there is a uh, config for every project so you have to if you want to install tailwind and others you have to go to specific project for installing if you go to default it will just install in your default i mean the angular one right see this is the Angular, but to make sure that we have to create, and we have to change the welcome one to make sure that uh, it is the Angular one. From that, we're going to search, and I'm going to search in 
uh, add component let me say info component oh no it just say that okay in may okay this is standalone component i'm going to search in here so i'm going to just where is it welcome i'm going to search for welcome one okay welcome 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 okay in here i'm going to remove this youtube and x just for the angular okay as you can see uh, yeah it's changed into angular as for react uh, i'm going to change it in the react search in here and i'm going to add and i'm going to search in an next welcome to and i'm going to search for react just to make the react in there i'm going to change this okay that's a bad idea welcome See in here, welcome. Hi. So I'm going to search title. Uh, no, it's auto generated. It should be in the app. Uh, but I'm I, I don't want to change the value in there. I'm just changing it in here. Maybe I'm going to say. I got all. See, there's all. But I want to change the welcome react. Maybe before this one, I'm going to say enjoyer so you're going to say welcome to area enjoyer okay this is the good part and the last one we're going to change the view right the view we're going to see in the view tree i'm going to search and i'm going to say the app is going component and no nah, no nah. okay home page this is the other one but it seems that uh, using translation in here so the project is rendered in other okay i'm going to say this is the view and after this this is the view right i'm going to change uh, like welcome all view enjoy okay that's all for now yeah we'll meet you in the next video thank you